So this week we are in Scotland for the annual UK cliff jumping tour. I could not be more excited to be here. We have five days of jumping planned. Three days are in Maidenland, Scotland, and two days are gonna be in the Isle of Skye. A lot of the spots that we're going to are brand new spots, so we don't even know if they're jumpable yet. I'm really excited to go around and travel to these new places. We have an amazing community of cliff jumpers that travel from all over the country to meet up for this one event. So yeah, it's gonna be amazing. My name's James, I got into cliff jumping through skiing, I wanted to practice a few tricks and then it sort of just developed from there really, the skiing trick side, like took a back burner and the cliff jumping developed. Hi, I'm Jay Mamigan, uh, I've been cliff jumping for uh, about a year now, um, originally got into it through going down to Cornwall with mates, just messing around on the cliffs. Hi, my name's Lee Mitchell from Abroth. Um, we've been doing cliff jumping a long time. Um, that was we've, we're from Abro, so we've got you know the, the cliffs on our coastline, which you've got right from zero to hundred foot. I'm Luke. I got into cliff diving uh, with James after school. We used to go diving, and it progressed from there really. Hi, my name is Declan. I got into cliff jumping through my best mate James. He uh, invited me on a long one day to a trip, uh, which was actually jump fest and a uh, five day jumping trip. And it was incredible. So my name's Dean Collins and I used to be a national level gymnast until the age of 16 when I was diagnosed with Lyme's disease that forced me to quit. A few years down the line I watched a documentary called Flow State that follows the lives of US freestyle cliff jumpers. That inspired me to give it a go and yeah, two years later here I am still cliff jumping, still loving it. But yeah, welcome to Send Scotland 5. Day one Scotland tour, crowds arrived, everyone's here. We've got the 30 foot bridge and the 59. Um, this is a regular spot for the tour every year, so made sure to get it first one off the list this year. It's gonna be a big one, it always is. And uh, yeah, let the week commence, I guess. <laughs> Right, that's just kind of getting the first jumps in. Um, five down off pretty low today, just with the weather being a bit overcast and a bit miserable. But then this, the more and more people start coming, sea folk jumping in, everyone's just getting rowdy and going up and up. So it's starting to pick up. Deck's got his big boom box, he's got the tunes pumping, the fire's starting to go, keep us somewhat warm. So we're just getting through it, picking up, and we're going to get Zendy. So. <laughs> Let's go,
yeah, I really wasn't feeling it at the start of this session. I was so cold, it's raining, it's windy. Just didn't want to even get in at all. But then like, I don't know, 15, 20 people wanted to go and jump the big bridge. So I had to go and do it. Um, got a new trick, which I wanted to get for ages, full and half out over the rail. So yeah, I'm buzzing. I was just about to get dry, but they've set up the mini tramp on the 30 foot bridge. So I think we're gonna go get that now instead. Day was really good um, we've just sent the 60 a lot of us been sending the 60 I've just done my personal best uh, dub half the water's quite cold I mean but and it, it's raining and it's a bit cold wind but it's it's all good the vibes are high that's keeping us warm you know it's good good day no it's been a really good day it's absolutely freezing cold as uh, I'm sure everyone can vouch for but hey you know it's England and it's what we live for right so Let's bring on day two and see what that has to offer. So we all know each other through the UK Cliff Jump Facebook page. If you're not a part of it already, go and join it right now. It is an amazing community. Everyone is so friendly, so nice and so helpful. It's the perfect place for you to start if you want to get involved with cliff jumping. You can join that page, see what everyone else is up to and then yeah, get involved, post some videos, see how people can help you. I've come across most of these people through the UK cliff jumping Instagram or Facebook and then through that people bring along other friends and then you get the odd person who's just randomly wandering around who then just wants to get involved in the sport and some of those do get involved and then you become good friends with those. Um, I think everyone's met just through the UK cliff jumping Facebook group, um, obviously word of mouth, people speaking um, but then because it's all the UK wide you know people are literally hundreds of miles and some people are over 13 hours away from each other and you still all just meet for this massive group. Just everyone's got the same love for, or the same passion for cliff jumping. So that's how everyone's meeting up. It's wicked. Well, go on, my good people. Here we are at the beautiful Glen Orkey Falls. We don't think anyone's ever jumped here before, so uh, we have to do our, our own safety checks. It is sketchy. You pretty much have to be high grade surgical level sniper. Uh, to be able to jump here. As you can see, we've got a few pros. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna have a, have a good day, get some sends on, and uh, be safe. Yeah, boy.
What a spot, eh? Beautiful bridge. We've done a, a depth check and there is a there's a boulder on the far side of the river. But we've marked out where it is. Everyone's had a good scope from the top while we're marking it out so they can visualise where the landing area is. Um, to get down, we find the best technique is if you push on shoulders, then push with your feet as well. Push them down deep, you just sail down and then you can have a good look around and swim back up and really check that area down there. There's nothing other, other than that big rock. There's a little bit sticks out on the left, but other than that, we're good to go. Today's been really good. Paul's outdone himself, um, sorting spot. Yesterday we're for Scally, um, 60 foot bridge. Today's found us just a fun spot. It's been really nice. We've been swimming in caves. Everyone's got involved. It's just been really fun. No big hitters. People have done some shit off the bridge. It's been fun. It's just been fun, fun. Did I say it was fun? It's been a lot of fun. I do cliff jumping for many different reasons. I've suffered with mental health issues throughout my life, so feeling the fear and adrenaline that you get from cliff jumping just does amazing things for my head. Also, the community aspect of this sport, it's not, it might look like an individual sport, but behind the videos, behind the jumps, we are just a massive group of friends. You know, we travel around together, we find these beautiful spots, and a lot of us, cliff jumping is just scratching the surface on what we're good at. It's when we're sitting around a campfire or we're going for a walk, that's when we realize that all of these people are so talented at individual bits, and I just love coming on these trips with so many different people. Diving because you get to see places like this 
explore. Um, the cliff diving itself, the adrenaline you feel from it is just absolutely incredible and meeting new people every time. I love cliff jumping because of the uh, atmosphere that comes with it. Uh, like when we've got a huge group of people down on the cliffs, music's going, everyone's, uh, everyone's having a great time. Oh. This man. Oh. As well. <laughs> you going pub? Oh shit, <laughs> sorry guys. I'll leave you to it. See you at pub. <laughs> so the reason why I do cliff jumping is generally because it's just, I find it as an excuse to travel around to find insane locations, do insane things and also get a massive buzz off adrenaline at the same time. It's just, just a win-win in my eyes. Also, I love cliff jumping because the spots that we go to are just insane. It gives you an excuse to come to these places and enjoy them in a completely different way. Instead of sitting at the bottom of a waterfall looking at it, I'm standing on top of that waterfall looking down on it thinking, I'm gonna jump. It's just a completely different way of enjoying these beautiful locations. Day numero three, and today's spot is uh, Right Angle Falls. So this one's a special one. It's, it's significantly beautiful. We've got the waterfalls. We've got different platforms, small, medium, and high. Um, many thanks to Paul and the other guys for setting up the ropes. When we've actually got a slack line going across the whole uh, area from one tree to the other, and yeah, we've got a rope swing dead in the middle. So it's been a blast so far. We've got the rest of the day to go. We have been blessed with the Scottish weather, so we've got a couple rain clouds overhead, so we're really praying it doesn't rain on us right now, but yeah, you know, we're just making the most of it, taking it as it comes and getting stuck in. So yeah, let's see what today is to bring. One of the funny things about this trip that I never really considered until we got there is the amount of vehicles that we have. There's probably about 30 of us, maybe more, um, and so many vehicles. We've got vans, cars, and bikes, all sorts of stuff. We just clog up everywhere we go. We've clogged up car parks, we've filled up laybys, we've filled up literally everything. Everywhere we go, we're just attracting attention. It's so funny, but yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it must annoy the locals a little bit. 
Before each jump, we make sure we properly check the depth of the water. So we'll have two or three guys go in, poke rods down, make sure it's deep, swim with goggles, check for any boulders, rocks or anything. Yeah, personally, I drop a tape over, see if it's coming in around four metres. If it is around four metres, I'll then put a wetsuit on, jump in, have a poke around with a pole to double check I haven't just missed a rock. And if it's all good, it's all go. Although this may seem like a dangerous sport, we do make sure that every jump is as safe as possible. So we check the depth, we check the takeoff, we check the gap, we check absolutely everything before taking that step to jump in. Also, we have people in the water at all times. So if, if worst case scenario, you get lost in the air whilst trying a new trick or something like that happens and you knock yourself out, there is going to be someone in the water that can just hug you, hold you up, just make sure you can breathe and then bring you to the side and then we can do whatever is necessary. One of my favourite things about these trips is the camp spots that we stay at. In Scotland it's legal to camp anywhere so we find ourselves in the most beautiful locations whether that's in a forest, a lake, next to a river. It's just always amazing to open up that tent and stare out into these beautiful locations every morning. It just inspires me to do even more of what we do. Just check out these videos of where we have been camping on this trip. Okay, so it's day four and we have nothing planned today. It is just a rest day. It's well deserved. The weather was awful yesterday, so everything is soaked. But we've woke up to blue sky and sunshine this morning, so everyone's happy. Like I said, we've got nothing planned other than driving to sky. So we've got a few points on the way that I'm gonna check out. So yeah, let's do it. So building tricks up to height is always a difficult one. You always want to make sure that you're comfortable with that trick before you take it to any sort of height. So whether that's practicing on a, in a gym or on a trampoline or something like that, and then just starting low and building that up until you feel more confident to take it up to higher heights. Also, the thing that people don't realize with high cliff jumps is that hitting the water from, I don't know, 60 feet, you're hitting the water at such a speed that it does actually hurt. Even if you go in dead straight, sometimes it does hurt. So a big part of building tricks up to height is making sure that your body is physically ready for it. So that's working out your legs, working out your core, things like that. Just making sure that when you hit that water, your body is gonna be so tight and you're not gonna sustain any injuries. Um, so with progressing to height is a wee bit um, trial and error, I like to think, because there's not really, you don't really have practice to do a 40 feet double back. You don't really know until you've done it. But um, obviously doing things like trampolining and starting off lower and having safety, of course, to just try it um, and being confident. So it's just like taking little steps at a time, breaking down the flips and then just working up the heights nice and slowly to where you feel comfortable. 
How do I build tricks up to height? I take my time, I'm a bit, I've got very small balls, so um, I do it very, very slowly, a couple of feet at a time, walk away a few times and come back and get it. It's, and then if I do do it, I can't commit to it, I just have to do it. So I don't, I just flop normally. <laughs> I build up to the heights uh, with my tricks, starting off low. Um, it's Weirdly, it's harder low, but you get, you got to go up in height and get over the fear and just slowly do it, just slowly progress. And once you've succeeded on one trick, you just keep going up and uh, slow it down. Just fly. Okay, so it's day five. It's our first day jumping in the sky and it is an absolutely beautiful day. We are here at this waterfall. I have no idea how you pronounce it, but it's North Sky. There's two waterfalls. We only originally thought there was one, but then when I tried to find the waterfall yesterday, we found another one that looks jumpable. So we've got a squad going down to each one now. Gonna depth check it, check the heights, and then, yeah, get our jump on. Let's do this. Right, so yeah, we've just been in um, depth checking a few of the lads, to make sure it's all good to go. We reckon we've got about a four meter deep pool from the 60 foot, which is good enough. Looks nice and clear, really black underneath. Um, from the 80 on the right hand side, it's a bit shallower looking, maybe like 11, 12 foot. So we're kind of all agreeing that if someone's want to do that, they're gonna have to go check for themselves. But there's no rocks, it's kind of gritty bottom. So as far as the 60 goes, we're good to send it all day. So the triple front half from 60 foot is a trick that I've wanted for so long. I've been to Fascally Bridge three times wanting that trick and every time I've stood on their top and walked away from it because it just didn't feel right. So when I saw the waterfall I found out that there was a 60 foot cliff there. I knew that was the perfect location for it and to be honest with you I was absolutely terrified but standing up there throwing some rocks, visualising everything, I knew I had it. I went for it, I absolutely stomped it. And I think that's one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. By far, my favorite jump on the trip. So after jumping the 60 footer quite a few times, I noticed that there was a ledge higher up, about 10, maybe more feet higher. And I want to go higher, you know what I mean? So I just climbed up and it was sketchy. I should have really thought about it more before I did it. As I was climbing, there was rocks pulling out. Um, didn't feel very safe, but I'm so glad I got up there. The view was insane and the jump was even better. I went for a huge Superman dub front half, so dived into it. A lot of people even thought that I was going for a single flip. 
But yeah, the view on the way down was just absolutely insane. <laughs> If a complete beginner was to ask me how to start, I would just say get involved, just give it a go. Uh, find your local jump spot or you know, message someone on Instagram. Just take that next step to go and try it because this sport has genuinely changed my life. Right, if a complete beginner was wanting to get into the sport, I think it's you just have to join up all these groups. Um, if someone's on about sending your area, just come along. Um, everyone is so friendly, they'll help you out. You know, no one's got, no one's better than anyone else and everyone helps out. Because like, these tours are obviously bigger for the week, but like nine times out of 10, there'll be somebody sending it in at the weekend all the time, close to by. So it's just to get involved with the group. It's just wicked people, so it's the best way to do it. Let's get involved. <laughs> I've had a few people come up to me in the past asking how to get into the sport. And I just reckon the best way is to either come along to a trip, meet some people that have either done it before, can tell you how to do it and then best of all just get down to either a gymnastic hall or a diving pool and start small. Uh, if a complete beginner was to start I would say join the UK CJ cliff jumping group on Facebook. Uh, everyone is welcoming and go to spaces like places like this and just to start low and build up. Have, just have confidence in yourself. Unfortunately, my mic stopped working for this part of the trip, but it is day six. We are at Nice Point Lighthouse. It's an absolutely beautiful place, but we've never been here before, never jumped here, so we don't know if it's jumpable. So yeah, we're just gonna get in the water, swim along the rocks, see, uh, see if it's deep enough, and yeah, see what jumps are about.
And that brings you to the end of Sen Scotland 5. I hope you've enjoyed it. We had an absolutely insane time. I just want to thank Paul and the other guys for organizing the events. All the spots we went to were incredible and I want to go back to every single one. Also, I want to thank Red Bull for sponsoring the event. Every year, the level of cliff jumping is increasing massively and the group is getting so much bigger. So if you want to come and join in, just come and give it a go. Come to your local jump spot or message one of us on Instagram and join UK Cliff Jump Facebook page. I hope you can tell from this video that the group is so friendly and so nice. So yeah, just come give it a go and hopefully I'll be seeing you at one of our events very soon. Thank you very much for watching.